All right, what's up guys? Today we're going to do kind of a different video. I don't do manga reviews often, but uh, my cousin recommended this to me and I kept, like, he kept telling me more and more about it. After I heard the first outcome, I really didn't want to read it. Um, but after he kept telling me more and more, I was like, that sounds interesting. So I read, like, the whole thing that's out so far and it's freaking amazing. So I don't plan on doing these videos often, so if you're looking for, like, a manga review channel, I'm probably not the one. I only check out mangas if, like, it's super interesting or someone recommends me re recommends it to me like it has to be amazing for me or I have like a really good concept for me to check it out I usually like to wait till the anime um, but I do not regret checking this one out it's freaking phenomenal um, I'm also testing out a new style that I'm going to try to implement on my anime videos that I do so see how well it works and whatnot um, but yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything that, uh, like any outcomes of any of the battles or anything like that. I am going to be talking about the plot, um, but I will try my best not to spoil things. So if you want absolutely no spoilers, I understand. Um, I'm just going to let you know that I definitely recommend this. And if you haven't checked it out yet, you should at least give it a try. Also, if you're super religious or like anything like that, this might not be the show for you. That's another like kind of trigger warning thing. Um, if you take uh, your religion very seriously, this might not be the show for you. Just letting you know <laughs> ahead of time. All right, guys. So this slideshow of images are going to be the gods that are in the show thus far that we've actually seen. Um, if you're pretty versed in your mythology slash religion type characters, then you'll be probably be able to spot a few of them. Um, some of the characters are from mythology. Some of them are still from existing religions that are still practiced today. Uh, which is why I say you might get offended by this show. It also, the show, the concept of the show, um, like you can see from the first image, is there's basically an ultimate battle between gods and humanity. And they're fighting to um, basically decide if the gods wipe out humanity or if they're redeeming by beating at least seven of the gods. Because whoever gets the majority win uh, advantage wins the whole thing. Uh, supposedly, so far. That's how we, how it's laid out to us thus far. Um, what I love about the show, the character design is phenomenal. All the characters look vastly different, and they all look good. It's not like, uh, I'm probably going to get some flack for this, but One Piece where they like the author gives characters intentional flaws so you can separate them. All the characters are well-defined, look really good, and it's just it's visually pleasing how great that all the characters look. And I think he did a really good job of imagining like the god characters and the historical characters i think they the imagining of them is pretty freaking phenomenal thus far um but i do also have to say with the historical battles i'm one of those people you have to take the show very like lightly um because he does take liberties with like the history of some of the characters and whatnot and you can't take it too seriously i'm one of those people if like a character that i really know and love gets dunked on or something like or if sometimes even if they get beat, I just get highly offended. I'm like, there's no way he'd lose that person, blah, 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 blah. I'm super bad about that. But this anime so far has been tasteful. There's still one fight that I'm looking forward to. And if it ends a certain way, I might just stop reading the manga altogether. Because that's how I am. I am one of those people that takes that a little bit too sensitively uh, when I really like certain characters. But yeah, the gods look amazing. The fights look amazing. I will say that this Arthur has some like direct references to other animes like the Jotun uh, R is like a direct reference to Attack on Titan it's like almost like <laughs> some of the references are pretty blatant but they're uh, it adds to the show and it's not like something that like they're ruining anything by doing it like there's some of the references include like one of the characters has an ability that's insanely and like I said I'm not spoiling any of the outcomes but I will spoil certain things about the plot um like one of the characters has an ability that's exceed a, a lot like sharing gun um there's a lot of different ones there's uh the freaking there's an attack that lubu does that i think is very reminiscent of shigurui death frenzy i think i pronounced that right uh there's a, a like a form that looks exactly like one of the forms that's done in boku no hero and it's kind of explains like boku no hero uh the, like the constricted muscle guy there's a character that does a very similar thing in this anime so there's references but this author does an amazing job of building pressure for scenes and like anticipation like in one chapter he made me look forward to the end of that chapter so much and it was over in like two panels but the build-up 
made it feel so rewarding when it happened. I was like, awesome. That's freaking awesome. Uh, but again, you can't take this too seriously because if you take it too seriously, you're probably going to get your feelings hurt if you're pretty informed about these characters. Um, and I think it's kind of fun to see how he does picture some of the characters because they look freaking amazing. Uh, what else was I going to say? One thing I didn't like about the show is that, uh, and this is another plot point, the characters rely on these Valkyrie weapons where the Valkyrie like fuses with them and gives them like a special weapon or power of some sort. I feel like a lot of the combats are determined on the strength of the Valkyrie, which isn't spoiling anything because you don't know which Valkyries are the strongest. There's nothing that really hints at it. But it really feels like some battles of the humans are win and lost by the Valkyrie themselves and not just by the human skill. But that's up to interpretation. You could say it was the human skill that caused the Valkyrie to not be as strong as they possibly could have been. But that's not how I see it. So that's just letting you know ahead of time. Uh, I thought that was kind of that kind of still frustrates me. But at the end of the day, I, it is what it is. It's they had to. They had to explain some kind of way where the humans could fight against the gods, and I think that's a pretty tasteful-ish way to do it. Some kind of otherworldly powers. Also, there's one more power that was copied. It's uh, Kadiko Hitman Reborn. I think I said that right. There's a guy that throws daggers. His ability is almost exactly replicated in this anime. Or manga, which I thought was super cool. Manga. Jesus. Um... But this is a list of all the fighters for the human side and the gods that are going to be going against each other. This is not necessarily the order. Um, but I'm going to go over and give you a little brief synopsis of all the characters and who they are. If you're not sure who they are, um, you may know. You may know more about them than I do, but this is basically just a little synopsis from what I know. Uh, Ken Shi Huang was the guy that... Um, he was like a kingdom of like warring states China. The king of a kingdom... like. Basically, big king, warring states China, uh, basically made peace between the warring states. Uh, and if you watch Kingdom, he's actually the generation before what the anime is covering. He's He is mentioned and showed briefly, but he's like the guy that Wen Qi served under if you watch Kingdom. King Leonidas, guy from 300, battle with the Mopoli. I'm not super excited for his fight, um, but basically this is Sparta guy. Nikola Tesla... I think he's like some kind of inventor of electricity or something, or how to harness electricity. I'm not too sure. Uh, Sasaki Kojiro. This one I kind of have a problem with because this is where the author took some liberties with like the history of the characters, and I, and he used him to like explain a certain thing about the fight that he was in. But I'd rather have Musashi, and I think Musashi makes more sense because these are supposed to be the greatest warriors. Um, and, at, like, for some reason, they're the greatest. And I think Musashi would have been a pretty good choice here. Um, but maybe it was I don't know. There's actually some interpretation up to that. Because the reason why Musashi might not have been chosen is not because of Sasaki Kojiro, but because of Okuta Soji. Possibly. Raiden Tamemon is... Tamemon? I don't know how you say his name. It's, like, the world's greatest sumo wrestler in history or something. Like, the peerless Rikishi, I think they called him. Uh, really cool character. Adam, he's like the first human created by God blah, 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 in like Christian religion. Grigori Rasputin. Rasputin's the like medicine man, like spiritual person that was like manipulating Russian like royal family and then they tried to kill him. But supposedly he was immortal and they never found his body. Lu Bu, this is my dude from Dynasty Warriors. If you know him, you know he's OP. Lu Bu's the man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was really cool. I liked his fight a lot. Okada Soji, Shinsengumi, supposedly like the greatest swordsman of the Shinsengumi, but died at a super young age because of some kind of disease. I believe it, it might have been tuberculosis or some kind of heart disease, but he died at like a super young age, but he was supposedly like the greatest swordsman among them. Michel Nosha Dumbass. Or, I know it's Nostradamus, but I like to call him Nostradam Dumbass because he's the guy that predicted the end of the world incorrectly. Uh, Simo, I, I don't know how to say his name. Hi ya <laughs> But uh, he's the Finnish sniper called the White Death that killed like a ton of Russians. I'm super excited for his fight. Him and Soji are probably the two I'm looking forward to the most. 
Um, I just can't wait to see what he does because he probably has like the highest kill count in the shortest amount of time out of all of them, like historically. So that should be interesting. Sakata Kotoki, he's like Japanese folklore, supposed to be really strong. Don't know much about him. Not really excited for his fight, to be honest. Jack the Ripper, everybody knows Jack the Ripper, serial killer. Um, I I actually liked his. Uh, we've seen some of these fights so far. His was really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, him and the God, I thought they were really cool parallels to each other. That's something the show does really well. Also, it has backstory that's going on during the fight. You have side characters that are from the same era, giving you information about the characters and also providing some justice to the characters and why they were chosen. Um, and then you have the characters. The gods are usually like some kind of reflection of the character, which is really cool. Like they're like an opposing view of what the character represents themselves. But I cannot recommend this manga enough to you, manga enough to you. I'm sure you'll enjoy it if, as long as you don't take it seriously and you don't get offended super easily. Um, you can't take it too seriously, I don't think, without getting a little bit upset. Uh, that's something I have to work on as well. Um, but yeah, this is the, the new type of like style I'm gonna try to start using for animes. Is like taking like images and like compiling them. Obviously, I need to use more images than I used here because some of these images, images I left for quite a while, but it's still learning progress, but this is kind of like the format I want to work on. But thanks for watching as always, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it makes you watch it and love it as much as I did if you haven't seen it already. Uh, if you do have any manga recommendations, let me know. I can't promise I'll do them because I'm not a super manga fan. I'm more of an anime guy, but yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Bye.